Open Educational Resources, or OERs. What are they, and are you using them? spend a few minutes today discussing what OERs are and whether or not OERs are a part of your current teaching practice. Later in the video, I'll share with you a great website where you can not only find OERs, but create and share your own with others. But first, let's discuss what an OER is. Open educational resources are any type of educational materials that are in the public domain or introduced with an open license. The nature of these open materials means that anyone can legally and freely copy, use, adapt, and reshare them. OERs range from textbooks to curricula, syllabi, lecture notes, assignments, tests, projects, audios, videos, and animation. You might check out creativecommons.org for further details as to the different ways one can share an OER. OERs can be seen as a social innovation, not a technological one with the potential of reforming and not revolutionizing. More broadly, open education is not limited to just open educational resources. It also draws upon open technologies that facilitate collaborative, flexible learning, and the open sharing of teaching practices that empower educators to benefit from the best ideas of their colleagues. It may also grow to include new approaches to assessment, accreditation, and collaborative learning. Understanding and embracing innovations like these is critical to the long-term vision of this movement. Check out OER Commons where you'll find OERs from various subjects and an easy to use platform where you can create and share your own OERs with others. This is a website I highly recommend. So let's recap. An OER is any material used for educational purposes that can be used freely by others. The Creative Commons website provides details about different open licenses one may choose from. OERs as a concept has more to do with the social interaction than technology itself. And OERs is just one aspect of open education that extends to flexible and transparent teaching and learning practices that relate to curriculum, assessment, and instruction. We concluded by looking at OER Commons where putting OERs into practice is as easy as uploading content for others to access. So, are you currently using OERs? If not, why not? Share your opinions about OERs and their impact on your own teaching practice. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe or follow me on Twitter at BNLEEZ. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.